This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. One of my students was having problem installing his uh, Fort Awesome PS extension and I had a thought that why not should I tell you the other way which is more awesome than using these uh, extensions okay which is using Icon Moon and creating your custom icon set okay so in this video we are going to create our custom icon set font and we are going to use it in photoshop to show a lot of different icons and uh, for each project whether you are using uh, mobile apps or web apps uh, you need few icons maybe like 20 or maybe 25 icons uh, maximum 20 icons i guess okay so we are going to select 20 icons custom icons from different libraries and you can also import svg icons which i'm going to cover in a next lesson right now we are going to use this icon moon okay so uh, i have created my uh, account on this so i'm going to go to this icon moon uh, app Okay, so you can see over here, there are different things uh, at the top. Uh, here is my uh, project setting. Okay, so if I go to this, I have used this e-commerce icons. Okay, I named it myself. You can name it whatever you want. You can create a new project. for. So for this one, we are going to create a new project and we are going to remove this one. Okay, so I'm going to name it uh, icon set um web design something like that okay so this is how i have named it and let's go back to over here sorry over here on the selection okay and uh, i'm going to add icons from different libraries you can see over here there are few libraries which are uh, free and few of them you need to purchase okay so i am going to add uh, you can see over here you have font awesome library you have material icons and uh, you have uh, other icons you can see over here there are many options make sure you have icons which have a lot of glyphs like you can see over here it has 845 different icons and grid size is 24 they are perfect for mobile phones because their grid size is 24 pixels by 24 pixels these are for web mostly okay so Let's for this exercise, I'm going to add this iconic. Okay, so I'm, I have added these. And let me add more. I can select as many uh, libraries as I want. Okay, you can see over here, there's, uh, there are a few premium icons. And uh, right now I'm going to add this uh, font awesome and also this. Okay, so let's add another one. Okay, so this one. So I'm going to add these three icons and libraries and uh, for this uh, exercise, let's select few of the icons like this Android. Okay. Also this one, this checkbox. This one. Okay. Now I'm going to select from font awesome. You can see over here, there are stars, empty and filled star. Then we have, um, it is better that you select from one icon library because they have a particular style. Okay, so don't try to mix two or three different styles. Maybe these kind of icons, small icons can work, but other icons like this one, they have different curves and shapes and even grid sizes for uh, app icons. Okay, so they are not going to work very well. So right now I'm going to stick with these and I'm going to go to generate font over here on over here. Okay. So now you can see I have 14 glyphs uh, selected, which is going to be this size. And uh, you can see over here. Okay. So the cool thing is what we are going to do is we are going to change their keys. Okay. So on this area where you are seeing this weird alphabet or sign, you need to uh, delete this backspace. Okay. So, and I am going to press my A key on my keyboard. Okay. So A, B, C, D, E, M, and N. Okay. You can also name them by their uh, icon. Okay. So if uh, this is tick, you can uh, press T over here just to remember, but I like to do it like this way. Okay. So once I have mapped them to my keyboard icons and uh, these icons to my keyboard keys, 
I'm going to go to this options and I'm going to support Internet Explorer 8 icon prefix everything looks good uh, okay so if you want to go to this font matrix or change anything I don't know much about these uh, extra settings okay so if you want to add metadata like URL description copyright designer or if, if you have designed your own icons you can go over here I'm going to name it web design course okay so let's name this like that okay so I'm going to download it it is going to give me this okay so download it and I'm going to go to this folder extract it it is going to be a zip file zip folder okay so there is a demo file you can see over here if you click double click you you are going to see all the icons used in an HTML file okay so if you are a front-end developer you need to see this one okay and if you are a designer then you need to go to this folder web design course this is the font file true type font file and I'm going to right click and install it okay make sure your Photoshop is not running right now okay so I have installed it now I'm going to switch to my Photoshop okay and I am going to use this custom icon set okay this is really cool I think it can save you tons of time okay so we are going to create just a simple file uh, press T on your keyboard to select this text and I'm going to select this uh, web design I think it was web design icon font from here okay so web 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 okay so it is this one okay web design course regular and I'm going to click over here a b c d e f g h i j k l m n okay so these are the keys I used I guess let's increase the line height okay so now you can see I have used these custom icon sets in Photoshop with so easy it's so awesome this is the best technique I love it because you can just select few icons you only need in your app or your web design or your design okay so if you need like 20 or 13 or 10 uh, icons you just don't need to use um, 500 KB size of font awesome icon set you just need to use this library okay and uh, I think it is very um, also it, it doesn't have you can see there is only 474 4 KB maximum file size okay so if you are loading this SVG or EOT file using your web browser you are just loading 4 KB for your icons okay so this is really fast for your websites and web apps okay so this is all about creating font icons using this icon moon app I will see you guys in next lesson when I am going to create another lesson where we will create SVG icons your custom icons okay so till then goodbye take care and let's move on to the next lesson if you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like atomic design and eight point grid system and if you want to learn about wireframing how to gather project information ideation techniques mood boards style guides and prototyping all these advanced web design topics then you should take this course discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video get this course now for only dollar 10 okay and don't miss this opportunity